Hey guys, it's me, Riley. Feliz Navidad, Joie Noel, Feliz Natal, Merry Christmas. I wanted to quickly share in paraphrase a story that I recently heard from Soren Kierkegaard that really, really impacted me and I hope it impacts you as well. Imagine that there's an all-powerful king who rules the most rich, vast kingdom of them all. And he falls in love with a lowly peasant girl who lives in rags and poverty. These are two completely opposite ends of the class spectrum. The king, more than anything, wanted to express and reveal his love for this girl. And he thought to himself, how could I possibly do that in a way that she could understand? How could I ever bridge this chasm between us? Well, his advisors told him that with the king's power and prowess, he could just command that she would become his queen. Done. But the king realized that this was not really love. Power cannot command love. Love is freely given. So the king met with his advisors once more, and this time they said, you can shower her with riches, dress her with royalty, bring her up to your level. Surely that will woo her affections. But the king realized that this was not love either. How would he ever know if she really loved him for him or just for all the things that he gave her? Eventually, the king realized that there was only one option that would suffice. So one day, the king stood up, set down his crown, took off his robes, laid down his scepter, and became a peasant. He dressed in rags, scavenged for food, and lived in the dirt. He became as ragged as the one he loved so that he could have her forever. It was the only way. His raggedness became the very signature of his presence. Now this story highlights exactly what we celebrate on Christmas Day. God becoming man for our sake, purely out of love. So as you look at baby Jesus this holiday season, just remember who that baby actually is and what he did out of love for you. Merry Christmas, everyone.